Um, well, leg three is 26,000 kilometers. So far, I can't even imagine how long that is. Um, the capes we're gonna go past, first of all, Cape of Good Hope, um, here in South Africa. So that's gonna be done over and done with quickly. Then Cape Lewin in Australia. Um, there's pr probably a Cape in New Zealand, but I don't know its name because it's um, not in the Vendee Globe course. <laughs> Uh, and Cape Horn, uh, South America, which is the big one for us sailors, um, and then up to Itajai. So, um, so we're kind of leaving everything to the port, to port, to all those capes to port on our left-hand side. Um, and in a way, it's almost, I, I actually describe this leg more as leaving Antarctica to our right. So we're actually doing a lap pretty much of Antarctica. Uh, the competitive challenges <laughs> are trying to win uh, this leg three and I think we've seen in the ocean race so far the five boats are really uh, evenly matched um, and uh, push the boats very hard. Um, they're you know, top level, new generation, big foils um, and sail really, really fast. So uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a race, a big race, uh, albeit a very long one. So maybe uh, with a little bit of a different approach to maybe what we've seen in leg one and two. Uh, I've sa been sailing in mockers for a long time, uh, it's right, since 2003, I think. Um, and so I know these boats really well. Um, to have that experience, I think, is really important, and that's one of the reasons why Paul asked me to come and sail with him on Biotherm uh, this time. And, and I do um, have experience from this latest generation of boats as well, because Initiative Kerr, my boat, is... Uh, very similar to the ones we're seeing here on the ocean race um, and yeah it's great to, especially me coming here stepping on the boat and leaving pretty much without much practice on board with the team it's really important for me to have um, to be uh, uh, comfortable with sailing in mockers and and also to know all the systems and know uh, how to trim and how to feel an mocker make it go fast in the dark when you can't see anything um, uh, because I'm gonna have to do that in two days time um, uh, in the middle of the night and, and bring my experience to to the team. That's brilliant. I didn't realise that we had a British sailor on every boat, so that's uh, that's great. It's cool that we've, we've spread ourselves out amongst the fleet. Uh, well, uh, for me, as a kid, I I guess I was inspired by the wit bred around the world race at the time, the ocean race at the time when I was young, and I was lucky enough to go out on my parents' little cruising boat as a spectator boat. And when um, when I was young, the ocean race, as it was, uh, left and came back to the Solent in the UK. So it's from my, in my eyes, this race has kind of got British heritage. So it's, yeah, it's great to have uh, uh, six Brits in this race and, uh, and strong British contingent and I'm sure there'll be more next time I hope so maybe one day we'll have a, an all British British team